What is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about yet again another very up and coming drone company and it is going to be Global UAV Technologies LTD and the ticker symbol, be ready for this one, YRLLF. Yes, that is a mouthful, but this is a very up and coming drone company and they're doing a lot of amazing things and I'm just excited to bring this one to you because you guys know exactly how I feel about drones and this sector is definitely coming. So if you're interested in this company, in drones, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. Before we start talking about another drone company that is going to have a massive impact, I ask that you guys smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below, and now it's time to see what this video is all about. Let's go! You guys know exactly how I feel about drones. I've talked about it numerous times. Let me tell you guys, this last live stream on Friday was absolutely on fire. We were talking about drones and really just everything that is happening with this sector, and it really had me fired up. I talk about it every single intro into every drone video and it's going to keep happening guys and the reason is is because this sector is just now starting to scratch the surface of becoming very relevant. They are starting to do some amazing things. They have to get a ton of approvals. Obviously safety is going to be one, the biggest concern but also the biggest hurdle to pass. You want to make sure that drones are safe. We want to make sure that they're doing the tasks that they are required and tasked to do. Obviously, we don't want them going rogue. We don't want them hurting or injuring people. We don't want them damaging cars, people, you know, people, buildings. The list goes on and on. So safety is a big concern. Now, obviously, this company that we're going to be talking about is doing amazing things when it comes to drones. And guys, there are a ton of drone companies out there that are just not well known. But they're doing some things and this one is actually traded over the counter and we're going to dive into all that. I'm, I'm beyond excited about this one as well and I think this one has a bright future along with a ton of other ones guys. Like new ones are just going to keep popping up on this channel because I'm going to present every single one to you as, pos as much as I possibly can. So here we go. Global UAV Technologies LTD is a cash flowing drone technology company experiencing rapid growth in unmanned aerial vehicle UAV. Industry, while serving a number of business sectors, utilizing proven technologies combined with the existing cash flowing business units, the company is well positioned to continue to grow its business and revenue expansion. Having multiple businesses divisions allows investors an exposure to the diverse, rapidly growing UAV sector while making the business strong and protected against any changes in the marketplace. The business units are dedicated to serving existing well-established industries and expanding on areas of early adaption across varied disciplines. Each division in, is an industry leader in their respective fields, providing a refined and fully integrated uh, UAV solution in underserved high demand industries and markets. Very, very well stated. Absolutely love every piece of information that is in there. And at the very end, it hit pretty hard with me. It says that they are a leader, industry leader in their respective fields. And it says it's providing a refined and fully integrated UAV solution in underserved high demand industries and markets. And I think that's key. They're looking for high demand, you know, well underserved, you know, sectors. And that's what's pretty cool to see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to dive in because they do actually have three subsidiaries and some of those have some subcategories below that. So we're going to dive into that right now guys i absolutely love providing content on this but also like providing some very you know detailed imagery for that and that's exactly what this is going to do and it's going to help me break down and provide you the information so obviously the main company the headliner is global uav technologies but the subcategory or subsidiaries is going to be nova aerial robotics pioneer aerial survey ltd with a subcategory under that which is high eye aerial imaging inc and then the final one is uav regulatory services now, what each one of these services provides, we're going to dive in right now. So manufacturing engineering, design and manufacture, professional grade, helicopter and multi-rotor, turnkey, bespoke solutions, and military grade contract. I think that's very, very important to know that they're working with a, you know, 
military style and they're presenting it in that type of way i think that's huge you know any chance you can get any form of government contract or any type of military related contract i think that really is a big big deal um, national compliance transport canada compliance flight and operations training recreational and commercial and proprietary software su uh, suit so as you guys can see right there again absolute amazing content the subsidiaries are really pulling their weight. Um, they're doing some amazing things and they're very diverse, which is that's what I really wanted to hit on is the fact that each category, each subsidiary is very diverse and presents and provides its own personal, you know, support to what this company is trying to accomplish. Very, very exciting. Now, this next piece of information can really just kind of be involved with the entire UAV or drone sector and really some of the things that you can expect to be occurring in this sector and what services drones are going to provide. So I really wanted to provide this to you just to give a big picture and let you guys understand that a lot of drone companies are going to continue to climb and become successful and they're going to be able to take some of the money that is involved with this. So I want to kind of cover what, what we're looking at. So it says right now, UAV is the most dynamic and rapidly growing sector in the aerospace industry. I would have to agree. I mean, it truly, truly is is roaring on the scene. And I think the pandemic really pushed that a lot quicker than it maybe should have or was willing to. Um, so obviously it shows right here that infrastructure is going to be roughly $45.2 billion. Agriculture is going to be $32.4 billion. Military is 13 billion, transportation 13 billion, mining 4.3 billion, and public safety 1.15 billion. It says each sector or industry sector holds vast opportunities within the UAV marketplace. Global UAV is focusing on areas of known expertise while aggressively expanding into industry sectors that the company has a key proficiency within specialized access through relationships or a technical advantage due to the corporate vertical integration and scalability of operations. A 5% market share within these industry sectors should represent over $5 billion in revenue. Very exciting. And it says existing areas of business. And that's now talking, you know, obviously about global UAV technologies, LTD. It shows mining, mid-tier, and majors. It says transportation, proposal for municipal and provinces. Infrastructure is provincial, or, uh, provincial and private service providers. And it says agriculture produce solutions. Um, and then it says business opportunities. So something, some, and some of the things they're looking at military demonstrations for Canada, DND and USA and DOD. And I think that's absolutely massive. I truly, truly do. If you can get involved with the military in a drone sector, you're talking about a significant amount of money. Search and rescue, which I also think is a very significant piece. System deployment with specialized teams. So I think that that's extremely, extremely important information. And that's really why I wanted to hit on it and provide it. Um, and I think obviously it's big for the entire sector, but it's extremely big for global UAV um, technologies. I am beyond excited to provide you this next piece of information. And the reason is, is because we're really gonna dive in and dissect what each subsidiary truly, truly provides this company. And that is really what is going to help generate a lot of revenue and what is going to go out and be able to get a lot of deals done with companies, whether it is, you know, signing partnerships, signing letter of intents, things like that. So that's what's going to be very significant about this. And first one out the gate is going to be Nova Aerial Robotics. And it says that they are obviously a manufacturing division of high performance. And I like this piece right here, high performance helicopter and multi-rotor UAVs. So basically they offer two different types. And let me, as you guys can see, because this is going to be displayed right now, that helicopter looks intimidating. This thing looks like it's mean, it's fierce, and it's it's pretty sweet looking. So it's basically performance. It's a flagship Pro Scion 800E. Hopefully I said that correctly, but holy smokes, this thing is intimidating. Performance, vertical takeoff capabilities, fast, long range flight, high wind tolerance, cost effective, and it's a cost effective package. So Basically, some of the features, agnostic adaption to industry-leading sensors and payloads, uh, superior design features allow simple integration of sensor technologies, equipped with full-featured, high-performance, and reliable open-source flight control system um, available. So, as you guys can see, in all seriousness, man, this thing looks absolutely amazing, looks intimidating, and it's going to be cool to see what that actually gets used for. These are obviously categories that I've talked about numerous, numerous times in the intros of all my videos. 
and how they are going to have such a major impact and a very big significance on the entire sector. Guys, these are what these drones are going to be able to provide to all these different businesses, all these different sectors, and they're going to make it a lot easier on a lot of people. And that's what's going to be awesome to see. Now, obviously, the last one is UAV regulatory services. And this is another extremely, extremely important one. So basically what they are going to do is make sure that the, they're in compliance. It says primary products is special flight operations certificates, the FOCS, online services for teaching and evaluating best practices for flying UAVs, full certification, certification for commercial and recreational purposes, and valid Canada-wide. So as you guys can see, this is a Canadian-based company, which is actually very cool. And I like to the fact that they are providing this as a service. I think that this is going to be very, very significant for a lot of people. And, you know, obviously here and within the United States, you have the 135, you have the 107, and they really do provide you the ability to then take those drones and perform the tasks that you're wanting. Um, and so these are significant pieces, and for them to have it as a subsidiary, very cool. And now it is time to jump into my favorite part of any video, and that is chart breaking down time. So let's swing on over here and check out Global UAV Technologies LTD, ticker symbol YRLLF. And as you guys can see, this is going to be a long-term play. So let's dive into this. So it opened on Friday at $0.03. Cents. It got as high as $0.04 cents and as low as $0.03. Cents. Volume is $1.316 million. Current market cap is $4.263 million. 52-week high is $0.09. Cents, and its 52-week low is 0 Average volume, 1.030 million. And so as you guys can see, there really wasn't too much fluctuation on Friday. Um, but there was, you know, an okay amount of volume for something this small. Now, this is a three-month chart. And as you guys can see, more towards as we got closer to January, the, the, the stock price started to go up in the upward direction. And we really started to pick up to where we went from less than a penny and we were up touching about five cents. Uh, since then, we've kind of retracted a little bit, come back down to right around the three, which is where we're seeing three cents, and it's fluctuating between three and kind of touching four and then coming back. So, guys, for me, this is a very long-term play. This is a obviously a major, major sector that is very up and coming. And when you have a company like this that is actively working in the sector, has three subsidiaries obviously the aerial imaging was actually recently acquired from dragonfly you guys know that i've been covering dragonfly i'm very very bullish on dragonfly um, i think that they're going to be doing amazing things across the board so right here it says dragonfly signs a definitive option to acquire 100 percent of the assets of subsidiaries of global uav technologies pioneer aerial surveys ltd and high eye which basically was you know, that LIDAR that I was talking about. So I think obviously that's a significant piece right there. Um, and I think once that is completed, because this was, you know, done a while back and it's once it's fully, fully completed, I think that this is going to be something that is going to generate some revenue for this company. I think that obviously this is really going to start to spike them in the right direction. I think that they're, you know, the option that they provide from a drone perspective, I think is very unique, especially in the copter form. And then obviously they have the quadcopter option. I think that this is definitely going to be something because of everything that they provide, what services they provide and who they provide it to. Um, this is a very long term play for me. This is something that every opportunity I get, I'm definitely going to slowly add to my position. Um, I do actually have a position in this, as you guys can see right here. And so this is definitely something I'm going to continue to add and add and add as this sector becomes relevant. Maybe this is something down the road that gets acquired. Um, because obviously you see a piece got acquired to one of the biggest, I think, drone companies that is up and coming. So I think that there's a chance that this could get acquired at somewhere at some point down the road, or they could continue to make massive strides and they could honestly end up doing something big time. They could get a partnership and sign a letter of intent with somebody. They could obviously, you know, get in with a, some form of military or government entity. I think there's a lot. And I think that when you start to see companies like this doing some stuff like this, it's the fact that they trade on the market. They're over the counter, yes, but it's the fact that they are trading on the market and people can become interested in things like this. So that's always something to pay attention to as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on this very fresh, very up and coming drone company. And I'm beyond excited about it. I'm, I'm really excited to see which direction they go, how they take it, 
everything that is going to happen with this company, I'm most definitely going to add positions, like I said, when I can. And I'm just beyond excited to see what they're eventually capable of doing. I do want to remind you guys, I'm not a financial advisor and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. That's exactly what I'm here to do is entertain. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content, because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.